What is the first step to self-improvement that people often overlook? It is self-awareness. What's good? It's Rob Cressy. And before you embark on a journey of self-improvement, you've got to get clear on understanding yourself. And this is all about the within, the inner work. Because one of the biggest things that you will ever have a light bulb moment on in your life as it relates to self-awareness is understanding that you are in charge of every single aspect of your life. And I think back to over a decade ago when I quit my corporate job and went all in on living my dreams of being a full-time entrepreneur and creator. In that very first day, that very first morning, I sat there and I woke up and my life changed because I had a realization. No one told me when to wake up, what to do, what to eat, do I go to the gym, do I read, do I watch TV, anything. I sat there and I was like, holy smokes, everything is on me right now. And for a lot of people, that's a very heavy weight. When you're looking to improve yourself, you sit there and you're like, everything's on me. For some people, that weight's going to be too much. For me, it was like the anvil got lifted off my chest because I'd been living in corporate America for a decade, working a nine to five. And it was like, holy smokes, everything is on me. This is unbelievable. So it was an opportunity that unlocked everything in my life. And it's unbelievable, be unbelievable because at no point in my life up to that point, had anybody even introduced the term of self-awareness to me? It wasn't until I created it myself and then heard what that term was that I put two and two together. Because when you want to improve yourself and you want to go on a journey of designing your life and creating whatever you want, or maybe, you know what, I just want to get a little bit better. It all starts with within this self-awareness for yourself that, wait a second, I am in charge of every single aspect of my life. And one of the very big keys to self-awareness and self-improvement is this is a journey, one that never ends. This is about constant improvement because the second light bulb that happened for me was adopting a growth mindset, understanding that I and you can constantly learn, we can constantly grow, we can constantly get better. And once you embrace this, this will change your life. So the formula for me for self-improvement, it is oh so simple. And this is the very first step and it's the thing that most people overlook because they're gonna immediately jump into the tactical side of things. No, this is all about the internal, the mindset of this. It is number one, self-awareness, and then number two, growth mindset. So let's break this down foundationally for you in three simple ways. Number one, to create your self-awareness, you're on that very first day, that journey, what I want you to do is to number one, look at your strengths. What do you do well? What brings you joy? Because one of the hacks that you will learn in self-improvement when you go on this journey is to start stacking more of the things that you love to do that add growth into your life. Because one of the misconceptions is that self-improvement has to be hard. It is actually the complete opposite. We will do hard things, but when you design your self-improvement in a way where you start from a position of strength, oh baby, you can grow in so many areas of your life. And I'll give an example for this in a second, because number two is auditing your weaknesses. And with your self-awareness and your self-improvement, one of the things that you're going to realize is that weaknesses are actually growth opportunities, not flaws. So for me, back to the very first day of me uh, being self-aware and adopting our growth mindset, I audited the success habits of the most successful people in the world, the people I aspire to be like and do things like. And I said, what are they doing every single day? And I kept hearing the same thing over and over again. The average CEO reads 60 books a year. The average CEO reads 60 books a year. I sat back and I said, crap, 
I am currently reading zero. So I saw that one of my weaknesses is that I was not learning consistently. I was not reading books. I was not feeding my mind with the right things. So this weakness immediately became a strength for me. So how did I make this happen? If something is important enough, you will always find time to make it happen. For me, when is there always time? First thing in the morning, because I legitimately saw my dreams on the other side of learning how to read books and making it a consistent practice right there. And if you're not somebody who is an avid reader like I was not, this can feel kind of heavy. So let's start from a position of strength and read things that you would enjoy that are growth oriented. I'm not sitting here go read comic books. Instead, maybe if you're a sports person, you read uh, Kobe, Bar- Kobe Bryant's biography or Phil Jackson or Phil Knight's shoe dog. Pick something that you're going to enjoy because once I realize, wait a second, you can actually enjoy reading and you can learn and you can grow at the same time, boom, massive light bulb that immediately became an unlock for me. And because of that, I've read every single day for the last decade plus, 30 minutes a day, first thing in the morning. So I made it easy and I turned a weakness into a strength. And then number three for this is setting goals. And I'm gonna encourage you to drop setting goals like the rest of the world talks about them of setting smart goals. I'm not about that life. Instead, think about what you want to achieve in your life. What do you want to create in your life? And be very specific about all of the buckets of your life because self-improvement and self-awareness is all about the understanding that you are in charge of all areas of your life. I'm about that 360 degree excellence. So for you, yes, at the beginning of the journey, you sit there and you say, all right, well, what are some areas of my life that I would like to improve? Or uh, maybe you can say, all right, I'll look at my health, my wealth, my love, my happiness. Be specific about this. Maybe you say, you know what? I just want to design a morning that I enjoy. Get very specific. Be small, little micro actions because self-improvement is actually about our ability to do one thing consistently over time, over and over and over again. And by setting a clear vision of what you would love to create, you can now create the habits and the routines and the mindsets that can help you get there. And for me, this is a maturation process. There are levels to this game because uh, where I was over a decade ago versus where I am now, I'm two completely different human beings. Why? Because this foundation of self-awareness for self-improvement will be with you for the rest of your life. Why? Because we talked about this is a constant journey. You're a lifelong learner in all areas of your life. And when you're on this continuous journey, there's a few levels that you're going to create. Number one, depth. So as you become more self-aware, there becomes a depth to your self-awareness, where you understand, wow, look at the world that I'm building, look at the world where I'm in charge of everything, because then number two becomes reflection, where part of growth and improvement can actually be reflecting on the things that can help you do more or less of the things that you want in your life. And then number three, the next thing is going to become a mastery of your vision getting more clear. Because at the very beginning of my self-improvement journey, uh, I was just trying to go from zero to one. But when you go from zero to one to two to three to four to five, all the way up to 100 plus, all of a sudden, your vision is going to get significantly better and significantly bigger. But the key is understanding, let me set one goal. What would I love? And then you rinse and repeat. And then the next thing is going to become challenges will be framed differently where you will continue to do hard things. You will even seek out hard things, but they are all in the name of growth and you are embracing them. Uh, There's an amazing book about this. The Obstacle is the Way by Ryan Holiday. What stands in the way becomes the way. And then the last part about this is with your self-awareness journey, you will understand there will be an integration naturally 
between your professional and your personal life where you will see them as one. Because when you understand I'm in charge of all aspects of my life, you will then see that there's actually no difference between my professional life and my personal life because it is how I am showing up in all areas of my life all the time. So no matter where you are in your journey right now, if you're just starting out or you're on the mastery level, know that you are in charge of every single experience in your life. If you don't like something, you have the ability to create it into something better. And I want to hear from you. Where are you at right now on your self-awareness journey? And are there any light bulb moments you've had along the way? Or is there anything that you're challenged by that I might be able to help you out with? You can hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, or LinkedIn at Rob Cressy. Sending tons of good vibes your way. Hope you have yourself an amazing rest of the day.